Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all new Nissan X Trail. A listener production. Authorities crack down on environment crime, preparations underway for the Cellar Dwellers Showcase, and one local sporting club receives a boost. Good morning, it's Amy Ross with the Limestone Coast Local News Update. Partly cloudy across the region today. We're heading for a top of 12 in Mount Gambia and 12 in Narracourt. <music> Authorities are cracking down on a crime wave, but it's probably not what you think. State governments partnered with Crime Stoppers to tackle environmental crime. As for what that is, here's Environment Minister Susan Close. Environmental crime is when people are breaking the law that's there to protect nature, whether that's causing harm to animals or clearing native vegetation or going in and fishing in a sanctuary zone in a marine park. We're just a few weeks out from one of the Coonawarra's biggest events for tourists and locals alike. Wineries are preparing for the month-long Cellar Dwellers Showcase. Heidi Guyett from Coonawarra Vigneron says it's full steam ahead now. The countdown to our Cellar Dwellers Month is on. Um, it's always a really exciting time in the Coonawarra wine region. Right about that time, sort of in the depths of winter when usually things are a little bit more quiet, it really um, creates a bit of a buzz. Thinking of taking a holiday, you've got until 10pm tomorrow to enter the ballot for the next round of River Revival vouchers. There are almost 350 tourism offerings from more than 120 businesses. Head to southaustralia.com for details. The West Gambia Tennis Club is set to get a facelift. The sporting group has received money from the Stronger Communities Program to redo the line markings on the courts. The club will receive more than 4K. If you want to head over the border to go bush bashing, make sure you plan ahead. Certain roads across Victoria will be closed but you can use the MapShare Vic tool to find out what routes are open. Greg Chan from the state's conservation regulator has the details. The department's closing some seasonal roads in the forested areas throughout the winter month and they'll be closed through until the Friday before the Melbourne Cup weekend and they're closed to protect the roads during the wetter months of the year. And the Market Square playground in Narracourt is now closed. The popular spot will be shut for two months while council replaces and upgrades the equipment. In the meantime, McTernan Park is up and running. You can find it between Harding Court and Thompson Street. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. Taking a look at some sport and checking in with the Limestone Coast Football Association, Apollo is sitting on top of the Women's Premier League table, with internationals not too far behind, just three points separating the two. The latter leaders had a big 4 0 win over Narragut United at the weekend. Elsewhere, the internationals fell to Blue Lake 3 2, and Central's got the win over Millicent United 2 1. In the men's competition, it was the Inters who were on top, with Apollo sitting in second. Many goals were scored across last weekend. It was a tie one between Blue Lake and the Inters, but the latter leaders cinched the win, going 7 3. Meantime, it was blowouts in the other game, with Central's demolishing Millicent United 8 0 and Apollo getting the dub over Narracourt United 7-0. That's all from the newsroom for now. For the latest local news throughout the day, download the Listener app. It's your last chance to get the seven-seat LDV D90 SUV from 38990 Drive Away with a free $1,500 fuel card. Ends June 30. Visit a dealer today. T's and C's apply.